I'm just talking about how the universe hates me right now. Like, I sit down to film and my neighbors start to like do some weird stuff to their house. And of course, puppy wakes up and now she wants to play. And I'm over here trying to film my favorites video. Well, I guess we'll just do our favorites video with Cleo in my hands and with the noise next door. So please try to ignore that. I'm gonna try to not really be speaking too much while the noise is going on. Hey guys, so I am bringing you guys my favorites video. Granted, I do have a puppy in my arms and she keeps licking me and there is some noise going on next door, but we're gonna try to work past it. Um, so I don't really have a whole ton of favorites this month, mainly because half the month I spent dealing with her because we got her in the middle of October and it makes it really hard to do a lot of it because she wakes up, she wants to play, she goes to sleep. I do things around the house that need to be done, like washing dishes and cleaning up, and then she wakes up, she wants to play again. It's just a cycle over and over again, and then I'm at work, my boyfriend's at work, he's at school, I'm just, you know, trying to relax, and it's just, it's been really hard, but um, she's awesome, and we love her, so it's all good. My first favorite has to be the Makeup Ever Flash palette. This guy was super helpful when it came to crazy colorful looks or just looks that needed a lot of heavy pigment and a lot of detail with different colors and things like that. Um, so I recently got this guy late last month and I finally was able to bust it open. And the only thing I'm not too crazy about in this palette is that you really have to set the cream color or else it's just going to melt off after a couple hours, especially if you're oily, if it's hot or anything like that. But it was awesome and I used pretty much every color but the brown and surprisingly I actually didn't touch the coral, the silver or the gold, but every other color I did a mix and match and I'm trying not to use up too much of the white and black right away because I feel like those are the two colors that I'm going to use up the quickest. Um, but everything else I tried to use as much as I could and I like to mix colors to create my own custom colors and things like that. So I'm really excited to have this in my kit and just here in my personal makeup collection. Um, so yeah. Next thing is a product that I got, um, I don't remember when I got it, I believe I got it actually in September. Um, and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. And I got the shade Light. I had to get both the shade Light and Fair, but I ended up returning Fair because it was like way too white. So I just kept the shade Light. It works really awesome. It's very similar in consistency. It's very similar in consistency to the NARS Radiant Creamy. What the hell are they doing? <sighs> One day I have on. It's very similar in texture to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the shade Light is actually very spot on with the shade Vanilla from NARS. Um, so I think that's why a lot of people have been loving this is because the texture is super similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy. I'm pretty sure you get more in this tube though and the wand is a lot bigger so you apply a lot more product. Um, but like I said, it just gives that similar feel, the similar texture, similar coverage. So for highlighter, I have seriously been freaking loving the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. A coworker and a really good friend of mine gave this palette to me. She accidentally got two in her order shipment and she passed them along to me and I was so grateful because I've wanted this palette for a long time. And holy crap, when people would say that this palette was amazing, it didn't compare to anything else. I was kind of like, whatever, that's what everyone says about every other highlighter, but seriously, this highlighter is better than any other highlighter out there like especially this purpley one um i just this this palette oh if you watched my huda beauty palette review swatch video and everything like that um i do apply this guy in that what? i do apply this guy in that video and you see my reaction like it's just so intense so quickly and it's amazing so i've really been loving this guy so, so good for a really intense highlight. For liner, I fell in love with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner, and I've never been a Stila person. I've always been a Kat Von D. So when I started liking this guy, I was kind of upset, kind of sad at myself, but I was kind of excited because it means that I can branch out to a new liner. And this one's just a little bit more intense and more black. I still don't really love the tip of it, but I do make it work and it's all good. But yeah, I just love how intense it goes on, how easily it glides on, and that's enough for me to actually love it and appreciate it. Pretty sure I've mentioned this mascara a bunch of times in my favorites videos. The Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara is one that I cannot put down. Like I keep trying to try new mascaras and I have a whole drawer of them just waiting to be opened, but I cannot stop using this guy. I'm pretty sure it's getting down to the point where I should probably throw it out because it's going to be probably like over three months that I've already had it and I'm just waiting for it to kind of start to dry out to get the hint that I should probably move on to a new mascara but I have oh I just love this one so much if you follow me on snapchat you see videos of her literally every single day she's so funny except I don't really show when she's having one of her little 
temper tantrums because they do happen quite often. Um, and she drives me crazy. Like the chihuahua in her definitely comes out, but it's, it's a very short amount of time compared to the entire day. So I don't like to broadcast that too much when she's acting like a little devil, but she can have a little bit of an attitude, but we're trying to work on that. I feel like I've mentioned this powder before, but I have to mention it again. And it's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil in the shade Light to Medium. This is one of my favorite setting powders of all time. Um, I just love how velvety and soft and matte it makes my skin feel, but it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It's just such a good powder and I just, I absolutely love the way it looks on my skin. So I've really been loving this again. I can see I'm about to hit pan. She's not happy right now. If you haven't tried out the Bare Minerals Perfecting Veil Powder, definitely check it out. It's a really good setting powder and just all over finishing powder. Another highlighting palette that's really come in handy with all of these Halloween looks um, has definitely been the Moon Child Glow Kit. It's just come in handy for like Galaxy Day and for, um, Animal Day, I did this really interesting green and blue and yellow tiger, and this came in handy a lot for like highlighting um, for those kind of days where I'm using a little bit more of a crazier color palette. Yeah, so I've really been loving this guy. I mean, I use it too on the daily, but this month especially, it's come in handy for a lot of different makeup looks for Halloween. And my last favorite is an eyeshadow palette. One that I've actually been gravitating a lot to this month and just the past couple weeks um, has been the Violet Boss and Laura Lee palette. It's just one of those palettes that kind of has everything that I need. Um, since I like a lot of warm tones, I just reach for a lot of oranges and reds and things like that. And this palette's just chock full of them. So I really, really love it. If you um, are a fan of Violet Boss shadows and you don't have this one, I would definitely say to pick it up if it's still available. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm super excited for their, um, their like second Holy Grail palette or like the huge one that they're launching. That one's going to be super amazing. I can already feel it, but I've just really been loving this guy lately. And of course my last favorite has got to be Cleo. She's growing so fast and <laughs> she's a little punk. Um, but she's definitely been a favorite of mine. I've just felt a really big emptiness in my life for such a long time for quite a few years now and having a puppy again granted I would have liked if she wasn't so young and untamed but it's okay I like to I like to work through that stage with her since I've never had a puppy this young um she keeps trying to chew on my hair it's been an issue like anytime she climbs up on my shoulders which she loves to if you watch my snapchats you know um she loves to chew on my hair and I don't understand why yeah she's definitely been a favorite this month and forever and I just love her so much. Again, she's a little punk, but I just love cuddling with her. And we let her sleep in our bed because if we don't, she's gonna start screaming. Like she legit screams, um, which is okay because I like I like having her sleep in our bed. And she likes to cuddle, but then she jumps in our faces. Like she's snapping in our faces. She licks my nose, and then I can't breathe, and it's just really weird. But it's all good. Eventually, she will grow out of this phase, and I'm excited to see how much her personality kind of develops. She's actually grown really fast too. I feel like when I got her, she was a lot smaller than she is now. Like she's pretty, she's not tiny, but she's not big either. She's like a, she's like a pretty good size. Um, and I prefer that she stay this way. Cause she's like, I don't know. She's not liking me right now. Stuff. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, please make sure to follow me on Snapchat to see daily snaps of her and all the crazy things that she does and she gets into. Um, but now on to a couple of my unfavorites for the month of October. This one I really have to mention because I think it's ridiculous how expensive products like these are. And this one just is not good. This is a Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. It works really well. It works just like the Becca one from or the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, but it smells terrible. It smells like really chemically and I just do not like it. It's just my hair is like all over the place. It's just a terrible smell and it does not go away. Like it lingers on your face. You can smell it all day. It's really frustrating. And I just don't think that that would be worth it to purchase it if it's gonna smell really bad like that. So luckily I got to try it out before I actually purchased it. It came in like a box set with a bunch of other full size products. The next thing is a master prime from Maybelline. I did like this at first, but the more I use it, the more I realize it's super, super kind of greasy feeling on your eyes. Um, and I just wasn't really about that anymore. I kind of just decided to just let it go and just focus on using my other primers that I really like that are a lot cheaper and that work a lot better and aren't as greasy feeling. It's just a very like silicone-y kind of feeling that doesn't really go away until you set it, but it, it shouldn't be feeling that slighty. Cause I feel like if you have oily eyelids, it just would make your 
eyes still crease. Um, so do not recommend this guy. I really regret purchasing it. And the last unfavored is this Dior Fix It 2-in-1 Prime and Conceal for face, eyes, and lips. I'm actually using this on my eyes, but for my lips and for the face, and it doesn't really work. It's a little too orangey for me, and it's just very silicone-y feeling, and I don't really like that in a concealer. It just feels very odd. That is it for my monthly favorites. Like I said, it wasn't a whole ton. Halloween, new puppy, life things, work, craziness has just kind of gotten in the way of me trying out a lot of new products, and I am going to try to do a lot better next month. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was just a really quick little favorites video i hope you guys enjoy please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already as well as follow me on, on my social media to see daily posts to see snaps of cleo and good things like that and i will see you guys in my next video